Welcome to section 3, where we're going to be looking at some of the source control integration changes made in Xcode 10. In this section, we're going to be looking at integration with Bitbucket. We are also going to be looking at integration with GitLab. We're going to be looking at the source control change bar. And finally, we're going to look at how to easily generate the SSH key within Xcode. Integration with Bitbucket. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to connect a remote repository to an existing Xcode project. We're also going to be looking at how to clone an existing repository into a new Xcode project. Let's head over to Bitbucket website to create a new repository. This is bitbucket.hog website. If you do not have an account, you want to click on the Get Started for free. But because I already have an account, I'm simply going to log in. Now that I am logged into my Bitbucket account, the first thing that I want to do is to create a new repository. So I'm going to click on the plus icon here and then select repository. And here we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Xcode Tips. I'm going to leave everything else as default and I'm going to click on create a repository. So now that we've created this repository, the next step will be to create a new Xcode project. Let's create a single view Xcode project. So single view app, click on next. And I'm going to call this one Xcode Tips as well. And make sure it's Swift and click on next. And then select where you want to save it. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. Click on create. So now we have our Xcode project created. So I'm going to go to the view controller.swift and I'm going to make some changes. So I'm going to here create a function, function e func, and the function is not going to do anything. Just want to have some changes in the file. And maybe in the view did load, we can print a statement, print. And we're going to say, this is a new project. Okay, so we're just making some changes to the file. Let's go back to Bitbucket so that we can connect our Xcode project to the repository that we created. Now we're back on the Bitbucket repository. If I should refresh this page, we shouldn't see any new file here. It is telling us how to use the command line interface to connect our project to the repository, but we don't need to use the command line interface. So I'm just simply going to copy this URL. Make sure you copy it from the start all the way to the end where it says .git. So copy that. Now let's go back to the Xcode. Now we're back on the Xcode. What you want to do is you want to select the source control navigator at the top here. So click on that. And you can see at the bottom here, you see a settings button, click on that. And you can see an option here that says add existing remote, click on that. So this is the name of the remote. What you need to do is just provide a location, which is the URL. So paste that URL that we copied and then click on add. And it's going to add the remote. So the next step is now to push this project to the remote. So in order to do that, go to the source control menu at the top here click on commit and then you're going to see this window and you need to provide a comment for your commit so first commit and then we can also select to push it to our remote at the same time so i'm going to click on commit one file and push this is the moment where it's going to ask you for your password to your bit bucket account so this is my own password and i'm going to click on sign in it has now pushed our project to the repository. Let's head over to the Bitbucket repository to check if that is true. So what we need to do is just refresh on this page and we can see that we have a new commit. So we have the initial commit and the first commit. So what we need to do is if you click on the commits here on the side, you will see our first commit. We can click on the commit number here and that will give us a chance to see exactly what we did. You can see that we have this green which means that some of the information that we added and then the function that we created. So this is how you connect any Xcode project to a new repository. All you need to do is create the repository, copy the URL, and then go over to Xcode and then make sure that you go to the source control navigator, click on the setting and then add existing remote and then paste the location. So that is the first part of this video. The second part is 
how to bring an existing remote repository and then clone that into your Xcode project. Let me close this particular window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my finder. This is the project that we just created, so I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to navigate to the root of this Xcode tip. So I'm going to click on the Xcode tips ID. You can click on it here or you can click on it here. So I'm going to click on that. So once we're on the landing page for that repository, what you want to do is let's pretend this is a new computer. You don't have the project on your computer, but you have the project on the cloud, which is inside of this repository. So what you want to do is you want to click on this clone option here. Because Apple and Bitbucket are working together directly, you have this new button option that says clone in Xcode. So all you need to do is just click on that. It makes your life so easy. Just click on this button, clone in Xcode, allow. And then now it's giving you the save as option. Give it any name you want. I can call it Xcode tips with an iPhone. And then I'm going to say clone it on my desktop, clone. And it's going to clone the project and it's going to launch the same project that we had before. And if we go to the view controller, you can see that we have the same project. So what this allows you to do is for you to be able to have all your projects saved on the repository. And then anytime you move to a new computer, you can easily clone. And the clone in Xcode button that I just showed you is one of the new introduction in Xcode so that it allows you to easily clone your project from the cloud back into your own computer. So this is some of the new source control changes made in Xcode 10. In this video, we've learned how to connect a remote repository to an existing Xcode project. We've also looked at how to clone an existing repository into a new Xcode project.